So here's what we're gonna do uh, with Arena from here on out. Every single run is a 100 win in 10 runs run. It's just a question of stringing the 10 together, which happened to be the win. So I'm gonna just continue to switch up the classes every single time, which I do anyways. Uh, so I've recently done Warlock and Mage, so I'll pick Druid. That's not cheating. It's just a matter of moving your perspective. It's basically the same thing. Right, Goblin Sapper. Ice Rager versus Raging Worgen. Or Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi could be fun. I have a lot of uh, disrespect for Ogre Magi, but it's good swiping. Whenever I look at the Ice Rager, I'm like, oh, is this the time to pick it? Is it pretty good? Is it better than a 3 3 for 3? I don't know if I'm insane, but I think this card is better than that card. It's such a huge buff on Magma Rager. Shredda. Innervate versus Loot Hoarder. I have no big cards so far. I guess I'll go Hoarder. Argent Horse Rider versus Crusader versus Huge Toad. These are some tough picks, I think. They're all pretty close. Do I want to give up one attack for charge? Or do I want to go with the two drop when I have two three drops already? All excellent cards. We'll just pick the better one, I guess. Another excellent three drop. I'm starting to get enough three drops that I'm starting to discount three drops as good, which is why I had a tough time picking the uh, Argent Horse Rider, which is an excellent card over the two mana card. Oh, so many good three drops, which is the reason why I'm not picking Brute. Mm, Savage Combatant. You can get Savage Combatant with Tomb Spider, and then you're really happy. Teacher or Moonkin? Probably not Blade Master. I have no spells, but... Someday. Do I have mechs? I have one mech. So it's a choice between Mark of Nature and Dragonling Mechanic. I mean, Mark of Nature is a spell for Violet Teacher. These are all kind of bad. Having a spell is useful. Ooh, Ancient Shade. I actually kind of like that card. Two beasts so far. The stats on Ancient Shade are amazing. I have no, not enough uh, early game for questing adventure, and Night of the Wild is bad stats. Let's go to the Shade. Today we will fight in the Shade. I have Ice Rager, I have Ancient Shade. We've got a high attack theme going. The Draconid Crusher combos with the Ancient Shade and the Ice Rager. Look at my combo deck right here. Okay, which raptor do I choose? Uh, usually it's a really easy answer. You choose the raptor which has a guy on it. Uh, however, I have very few two drops. Uh, it's only pick 11. Wow, I've been really deliberating over these picks. They haven't been so obvious, I'd say. Swipe, swipe. I'm sure the flame is pretty good too. Shredder, shredder. Oh my gosh, puddle stomper. Shredder. Oh, Tomb Spider. More value. So many 4 drops. But so many 3 drops too. The Tomb Spider. You can get a Savage Combatant with Tomb Spider, which is why it's even better. Uh, and there's all sorts of good beasts to discover. Like Mounted Raptor also. The Synergy. Druid of the Flame. That's a good 3 drop. Alright, so we're just picking 2s and big cards now. Wrath. That's good. Neck bear cat. Neck bear cat is big. That was excellent. Ooze. That's a really good two drop. Wow, that's a fun pick. Battle cries. I have two shredder and a hoarder. Major domo is a big card. Sir Finley. Hmm. The druid hero power is pretty good, so replacing it isn't a big deal. But I can use the hero power, play Sir Finley, and then use the hero power again, which is kind of possibly its purpose. Or I just played on turn one. It's one three. It's okay. And Major Dome is just Major Dumb. And I'm not Major Dumb. Drew the Fang, how many beasts do I have? I actually have a good amount. That's three. That's four. Uh, Drew the Fang, could be good. And these beasts come up with more beasts too. I think I like Drew to the Fang quite a bit in this deck. And it's also a five and I have no fives. Raven Idol is pretty good though. It's five mana, seven, seven. You can resist that. It should actually work in this deck. Oh my gosh, it's a beast, but it's an ogre brute. 
bite or tender or recycle. Recycle, not bad in the arena. I don't have any way to deal with huge things, so maybe recycle. And I have a lot of three drops. I only have one, two, three, four two drops, but I have a Sir Finley. So bite plus hero power would be deal with a five health minion, basically. No battle, no death rattle. Versus recycle. I'm gonna go with bite. It's really close between these two. Between these three, in my opinion. Oh, another druid, the thing. Uh, that's probably too many. So the question is Innervate or Mechanical Yeti? And Mechanical Yeti is pretty good. A lot of strong cards in this deck, but they're all very slow. Maybe I should Innervate one of these out to make them faster. But not against the Yeti, I think. Jeweled Scarab. Four Silver Hand Regent. Uh, it's a two drop. It's not a very strong two drop. Not one I would want to play on two. Silver Hand Regent has, uh, has synergy with Sir Finley. Imagine this turn 10. Silverhand Regent, hero power, Sir Finley, hero power. That actually costs 8 mana. And that's mostly said in jest. Mostly. Drew to the Claw, good 5 drop, Living Roots, good early game. That's That doesn't suck. Recycle versus... I have a swipe with the Moonkin. That's a combo. I also have a Wrath. I also have a Living Roots. And it's also a beast. I think Moonkin wins. Well, the beast only matters for one druid of the thing. I should take recycle, actually. Four mana, four, four. I have so many fours. Now I go recycle. I have a deck. <laughs> it's got one, two, three, four, five, six early game cards. It's a little bit on the light side. A lot of strong three drops. Very strong four drops. And then it tops off at five, six, but it does have a strong crusher and mech bear cat. Tomb Spiders will let the deck go on for a little bit longer. And it's pretty standard run of the line deck. Gonna mulligan aggressively for twos, and I don't have to keep good threes because I have a lot of threes. Has a few weaker cards in it, such as Goblin Sapper and Ice Rager. I don't even think Ancient Shade is weak. I think Ancient Shade's. I'm cautiously optimistic about Ancient Shade. Uh, but there's nothing too exceptional about it, and I guess a nice calm six. The, the main problem with this deck, it lacks a way to come back in the game. Uh, swipe is like the only comeback card. Wrath and Living Roots can trade up, and it lacks a way to get early game quickly. It's a lot more about tempo these days. I wonder if I should have picked Innervate. Alright, Wrath's good. Go for a more early game. Sir Finley Muggleton. Okay. I wonder what hero power I want. I don't know yet. Let's go on an adventure. Whew, okay. Um, I don't know. So I think Life Tap is too slow. Dagger Mastery is the most valuable. I'm not going to press the button that many times in this deck, given this curve. I think I can go Dagger Mastery. I don't think I'm going to need Life Tap because uh, I shouldn't run out of cards in this deck. The way I see it, I'm going to be coining out the Shredder, and then yeah, I'll go Dagger Mastery. It probably has the most value. This is a really strange combination to see, though. It's kind of funny. Spiteful Smith in the deck. That's hilarious. The synergy. Mm, brute or Shredder? Well, with the Living Roots, I 100% kill this, which is important. Well, actually, I 100% kill it with Wrath. I'll go Brute Root. We're getting the most uh, power on the board right now. And using the hero power isn't too bad the next turn, if I decide I need to Wrath. Oh man, this is dangerous. So I want to play Shredder, and if this attack goes through, then I will play Shredder. 
I could just do this. Take the extra two. That's fine. Alright. That in that means I will always be able to play Shredder in a good way. It's insurance play. Because Ogre is dumb sometimes. Now I look dumb, but it's okay. If Ogre were to like wander off into the knife juggle, I'd be pretty sad. Smash this one? I guess if Ogre goes into Night, Shredder goes into Night also. I can play Mark of Nature on this. Interesting. This is definitely the best play though. Stupid Ogre. <laughs> Ogre's so smart though. You go three for three. Smartest ogre ever. Yeah, we'll, we'll toss that back in. You went into the wrong deck. He didn't just draw that, did he? I want Ogre Brute to have an increased chance of not hitting the Ogre, so this is a good first attack. Ogre is 4 for 4. Technically 5 for 5, if you count the one where he attacked with nothing else. But 4 for 4. Good, no taunt. Hit face. Fight plus hero power synergy. Rogue again, at the Smith. Also, Rogue is really good against uh, Reinforce. Um, not sure if I want to just send my 1 3 to die to a zombie chow, though. If I pick the uh, dagger. Oh no, it doesn't die to a zombie chow. Wow, you're so good for surfing me. 3 health. Pretty good. Ah, oh, what is this? No, no. Okay. Ogre Brute or Micro Machine. Problem with Ogre Brute. No, problem with Ogre Brute is no turn three play. Problem with Micro Machine is I lose my guy for free. I lose the machine for free. What to do? <laughs> play it strong. I have a good amount of threes in here. Oh, Ogre Brute double trade. Micro Machine just dies for free. Push button on three mana. It feels sad. Seven four. Good against three four. Oh, seven four. Good against three five. Get him, Ancient Shade. Ancient curse. 
I am sure I will never regret that play. Nice. Always lucky. Okay, need exactly the swipe to catch up here. We've got 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Do you want to ooze that? Not really. But I will. Really though, whether I have 7 health more or 7 health less, doesn't matter too much here. Okay, kind of matters. A little bit. If I were at 14, could I actually stabilize this board? Oh, back to the office. It's like maybe. It's hard to say. Alright. Give me something good. Two, three, four, six. Oh, that activates this. Unfortunately, I need to play Recycle in order to live. Feels bad, man. Okay, maybe I would actually survive if I were 13. I didn't have to draw the uh, ancient curse that early. Destroyer, attend me. Ready, sir. Reporting for duty. Well played. Ah, oh, so late. I can see. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. Sir Finley loves me. Well, this curve's pretty good. I'd love to save the coin for Violet Teacher if at all possible. What's the best hero power I can get? I think it's Dagger. That's why Rogue is good in Arena, because Dagger is really good. Part of the reason why. Oh, Reinforce is pretty good. Let's go with that. Heal's not bad. Wrath. Spider or teacher? No. The one with more stats out, of course. Also, if I play the spider next, I have a higher chance of transforming Drew to the thing. It's stuck. Wow, that was a pretty weak turn. Oh no, no students. My time. Oh, Malorn. Do I like Malorn? Five drop, six drop, seven drop. Go. Instruction begins. Thank you. The dam stand ready. My greetings. Greetings. Snakes. Instructions. Well played. My thanks. Instruction begins. Oh, 
What a kind priest. Hmm, was this good for me? The 3 1 went into the 3 3. He buffed his weakest minion. I don't think I liked his play very much. Roar. We'll be back. Oh wow. Look at that valley. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do three damage to the uh, Cult Master, that's still worth it. But no, I get a guy. Combonoterix. What was that word? Combinatronics? Combinatorix. Now I'm at the point of the game where I just push the button a lot. Oh my gosh. Make a guy and bite for the hero power. Yes, I'll recycle that. Throw it in the trash. Mm, looks like I have to give this guy up. No, I don't. Ah, oh, yes, I do. Well, at least I'll have another in the wing. Oh no, I don't have to give him up. Sick. kind of tough. Had to be snakes. Alright, so I do want to use the hero power to remove something, right? If I send this into this, and I played this and this, that's actually pretty good for me. Though I should play a mechanical yeti over Ice Rager. Kill him with the power of the guys. Soon enough. It's a good thing priests don't have much damage. Combatants have done some work. If my, uh, as long as my health pool is infinite, as long as, my, as, as long as I have health, we can uh, get some serious value. Ice Rager is super value here. Five man, uh, five damage for just three mana. I think hitting him in the face is probably the best move for him.
Alright, so he has 14, 19 worth of stuff, and I have 8, 9, 13. I have 18 worth of stuff. If any of these hit me, I lose. Oh, but this could give me one damage. So I need to assume I get one, or I freeze. So this probably should go here. Ah, could get a taunt. Well played. Time waits for no one. Ah, oh. well, Ripperu. I'm so close to stabilizing. Alas. Well met. Thank you. Wait, I had 21 damage on the board? No, I didn't. No. Chat's wrong. Thank you. Did I miscount? I double counted and triple counted. Thank you. Mounted Raptor piloted Schroeder and those are the best three and fours out there pretty much, especially against Warriors. So I guess I'll stick with that. Hey, Ice Rager, in case I want to Ice Rage instead of Mounted Raptor. Ooh. I'm like so confused. What is this hero power that I have? We've had Rogue, we've had Paladin, and now we have this weird one. Is that going face? Oh my god. Bold, aggressive play. The problem with a play like that, as I'm sure you, the brilliant viewers out there know, is that if health doesn't matter this game, then he spent turn three doing nothing. This is quite an aggressive deck, though. That's power. I enjoy raiding. Look, my three drop kills his five drop. OP. It actually can even survive if I wanted to. Can recycle his guy. A lot of good choices. I think I'm kind of amused with the idea of a super rager though. So I can make a 1-1. One, one. I guess that's good enough. I'd rather keep her around, but... Not practical, too. There's some games where these micro machines just you asked for it. I must protect the wild. Micro Machine makes a cameo guest star appearance hit again. So that's two three four. 
Or that's tier 3, 4. That's a bad 4. It's the worst 4 that I have in the deck that I can play on 4. Most of the time. It's more of a late game card. This 3 is not very good, but I have a 2. So I'll keep the 3. Oh, a 1. What shall I choose against a mage? Reinforce, Steady Shot, or Life Tap? Reinforce can just get hero powered. Steady Shot, the deck isn't aggressive enough. I actually don't have very many. I have all the low cost in my hand, so I go Life Tap. Not all the low cost, but enough low cost that I feel like I might run out of cards. Sorry, Tiny Finn. Ooh, unlucky. Uh-oh, it's time for another Micro Machine game. It's spinning up! Defenseless right now. So, good time to play this card. Ancient curse. It's a lot of high attack minions I have here. Hmm. Really? Does he have a one to everything card? Gross if he does. So, I'll avoid Teacher this turn, I guess. My board. It's 23 damage. Lethal. Lethal. Ooh. Should get through a lot of damage. Ooh, Wrath. Ooh, Teacher. Three is really good, so I'll keep it. This three is really good specifically because this three is interesting because it's really good in the early game, since as a two five you get to kill a lot of the early minions. In the late game you turn to a five two, and it's a really good ice rager. The ice rager is not too bad. In the late game. When you're not too far behind. I have to like keep putting on conditions. I think I want to play her as a 5-2 right now, which means I should just play Ice Rager. Because uh, we're going into his coin 4 drop. When we're past the part of the game where playing something as a 2-5 is good. So that's not too bad. Hmm. I can use the hero power with it, but I didn't want to hero power this turn. Your magic shall not save you. you probably should have done that because then I couldn't hero power. Yeah, that would have been better for him. If he had done it the other way around, I'd be in a tough spot. I 
have no need to immediately do this, so I could just play the Crusher. But the Crusher can be a 9-9, which is pretty good. I'll go Combatant. And this leads into Drew to the Flame, it's probably a 5-2 Tomb Spider next turn. Seems good. Face or hit this? No I think face makes sense. Although if he's holding flame strike, I will regret it. But maybe this is correct. Got the question of if I'm on an empty board, is it better to play Drew to the Flame as a five-two or a two-five? And is it better to play Robocub as a 2-3 or a 3-2? And unfortunately, it depends. I will say, the later the game is, the better it is to play high attack, low health minions, though, in general. I could do 4 plus 2 right now and kill that, but for mana efficiency's sake, I will play two fours instead. Uh, Cobra or Raptor? Cobra kills any late game card. Clear Cobra, probably the better later game card. Good Huffer. Man, this is a card I do not see enough of. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I want to hero power this. So that means I have uh, seven mana left, unless I don't hero power it. In which case I can go something like Smith, Raptor, Eye for an Eye. Okay. Druids have not really learned how to play Secret Paladin yet, unfortunately. Ice block, no mission winner. Ooh, a good one drop. Huh. And this is the problem of holding Crusher with the hopes of playing it as a 9-9. It'll happen, but it'll happen at a point where it doesn't matter. On the other hand, though, holding the Crusher means that I don't get Fireball, which is actually a legitimate use. And I had a good 6 play. Oh, why didn't you Pyroblast me? Sadness. They don't always have muster for battle. <sighs> I think I keep swipe anyways. The moment I mulligan swipe and then muster for battle comes up, you'll be like, wow, misplay, mistake. 
Ugh. But here's the dream, right? Muster for battle, and then I coin swipe the mini bot. And it's just like constructed. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. Yeah. Hail, hail, it's a pretty slow hand. The swipe, though, is my catch up card. Ancient Shade currently beats both of those guys, so I'll play it. Ancient, curse. Ancient curses don't scare me. The it's a value uh, Elder Peacekeeper for him. Really? It's a lot worse if you draw the curse immediately, <laughs> as it turns out. Believe it or not, sometimes you don't actually draw the ancient curse, and you just get away with playing a 4 mana 7 4. That's pretty good. But sometimes you're never lucky. The problem with playing Bite right now is you just stay even. But in order to get ahead, I need to play cards. Or the problem with trying to get ahead though is that I take 6 damage, which is a lot. But Mech Bear Cat is a great card. I feel like if I play Bite, I just become too slow and then I can't win. I want to play something that can kill the 4 4 and stick around. Or something that can kill the next card so I can Bite this guy next turn. Micro Machine just ain't good enough. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that's a recycle. Oh, that's a mark of nature. He only has four. I can recycle and for Sir Finley. Maybe I get the freezing thingy. Armor up! Suppose he hits me for 4, I go down to 3. The problem with playing armor up is you like, you just barely survive and you never actually win. I will taunt him up instead. It's a big dinosaur. Alright, so I can get my guy to be a 3-9, 3-10. Well met. I'm not entirely sure if I put the armor plating on Finley or this. It seems pointless because 8 plus 2 equals 10, but I don't really see my Finley being a 1 2 helping either. Ah, Ice Ranger. Wins again. So that means neither of the cards in his hand cost 5 or less, which is interesting. Or he doesn't want to play them. Though. At least Tomb Spotter in this deck ended up being really good. So that's the thing. Here, we can find out what's in the box at least. 
Technically, I could have survived with Taunt Totem and Bite, but I couldn't have possibly killed the fossilized Devil Sword. Rip over. 